Hi, this is Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics. In this video, we're going to see the fifth part and the last part of the interview we had with Mr. Peng. It's going to give us a lot of information about how to design and what are the key points to design a commercial aquaponics farm. I hope you will enjoy the video, but first please subscribe to the channel and if you haven't done it yet, please get your free gift from the description of the video. In terms of the greenhouse, so you are telling us that you're going to do an extension? Yeah. At totally. the moment, what is the surface of your greenhouse? Uh, it's about 400 square meters. 400 square meters. Uh, and you built it by yourself? No, no, no. I'm going to do 400 square ah, meters. Ah, that's what you yeah, want yeah, to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the moment? you? No, at this moment, I think uh, it's about 150. Wow, mm -hmm. wow, that's going to be huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And so your project, you're going to build it by yourself? or you're going Yeah, to build, uh, uh, mainly by myself mainly by myself because I enjoy the entire process. Ah, right, right, yeah. So it's not in a hurry for me to in a hurry. I, I really wanted to do a bit of, you know, experience, to learn something new yes. and find the new solutions, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, you're experimenting a lot, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Mm. But this one was a prototype for you and now you're yeah. going to build in bigger yes, scale. Yes. I think the, this, this, uh, uh, by this stage, I am confident that the system will run well. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And what is, uh, is going to be for you the main difference in terms of co design and concept mm. between your new project and, and the project you already have? What kind of improvement are, gonna, are yeah, you going to The improvement in is this. Yeah. From this day onwards, there will be no more solid going to the grow bed. Okay. The solid will be treated separately and uh, have a, a proper uh, mineralization uh, chamber set up then to extract uh, as much as a nutrient from the okay. yeah, fish food, but without contaminate the entire grow bed. Okay, so you're going to have a mechanical filtration be yeah. before releasing the water into the grow bed. Yes, yes. And the grow beds are only going to do the biological yeah, uh, biology, filtration, yeah, yeah. so you don't have to clean them. So no, no, no. So it's going to be a bit less labor. Because yeah, yeah. I, I understand that for you, yeah. when you have to clean the grow bed, that's a big job. Because big you've job. got a big, uh, yeah. uh, big surface area. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, while in aquaponics, yeah. in, I mean... In that's the hobby. first generation. That's first generation. Yeah. Now there's, no, it's, a, it's a, uh, you know, proven to us that the build-up of solids in the grow bed may not be an issue for vegetable growing, because vegetables can grow on soil anyway. Mm -hmm. It's a great it's an issue to reduce uh, the surface area. Yeah. So the water flow actually becomes a. a it's a, clogged. A, uh, yeah, clogged. Not only clogged because you form a channel. Yes. Yes. So uh, many parts want get the you know get the water. You know? So basically, you got your whole. Uh, grow bed yeah. and you got the water coming only from the input yeah. to the to the siphon yeah. and it's going straight and all the <laughs> other rear yeah. where you got a lot of uh, areas lot of without yes they actually clog they, they are not in contact with this new water so they can't really play the role they can't do the biological yes, filtration yeah, yes, and sometimes they even turn anaerobic yes so you got some bad, bad smell and those yeah. kind of things yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so true, true. And, and then obviously you got some challenges to maintain your uh, nitrate and ammonia low because you decrease the surface of the, of yeah, the whole yes, setup. Yeah, yes, true. Yeah, it, yeah. Become a, it got become a trigger of a serious problem. Yes, exactly. But when you clean your, your grow beds, I imagine your water com must be completely dark. Right? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can... No, uh, as long, uh, to be fair, as long as you keep the water running, yeah. mm, uh, uh, there won't be any problem, you know, generating a smell or something like that. Okay. But, but uh, once you have the water stopped, no. Yeah. <laughs> very bad. Yeah, it, yeah. Turns, mm. it turns very quickly. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. And uh, in terms of budget, what is the cost of the, this kind, this kind of greenhouse when you bring? Oh, it gee, man, that costs a lot. Uh, in terms of, uh, you know, if you build up your own greenhouse. The material is one issue. Yeah. The next issue is the cost of labor. Yeah, exactly. Cost of labor. So, uh, 
for beginners, if you have your backyard, you know, do a backyard, you can do it fairly cheap. By yourself. By yourself. Yeah. If you know what to do, you know. Yeah. You have exactly. a bit of skill. Yeah. Material is not an issue, and you enjoy the process. And a greenhouse it adds a bit of value to your house. Oh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You give yourself so much joy. You know? <laughs> and the uh, aquaponics does not produce a foul smell. It does not produce noise. You know, the fish won't crawl in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like chickens, right? So no, no, no. I got chicken just near my room. <laughs> and they wake me every yeah, morning, yeah, which is fine for me. <laughs> yeah, so it's a very environmentally friendly and neighbor friendly. Uh, yeah, no, that, that's that's great. So you would uh, recommend it to yes, yes, yes. Yeah. If you have a backyard with decent amount of sunlight every day, yeah, why not? Mm. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. And uh, so obviously, I don't know if you had aquaponics before outside. If you had some, uh, oh, if you outside, made some, some trials to see the difference of productivity between your greenhouse. And no, 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 because no. when we enter into your greenhouse, we yeah. can really feel there is a big delta, <laughs> big difference of yeah. temperature. It's yeah. just impressive, and I, mm. I can just imagine how how much uh, growth you can much. You know, mm. the growth must be much yeah, better. Oh man, enormous! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the greenhouse is very effective device, but however, uh, uh, in terms of growing outside in. In, in Melbourne, this area, I, I believe you can grow, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you, you can, can do well. You yeah. can do it, you can do it because, uh, because it's a, uh, houses are very closely built together, not much wind damage. That's okay. Yeah, mm, that's okay. No, not, not a big problem. But in, in my area, no, we have to have a greenhouse. Yeah, mm. okay, I understand. Mm. You, when, you may, when you mean. I mean, when you say your area, you mean in China? Right? Not in here. Oh, here. Yeah, here. Here, you need, you need a greenhouse. Yeah, you here. really need it because it, you, it, the, the hot weather, the warm weather is very short. It's only giving you about four months. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. The next uh, one yeah. is like a autumn, winter, that kind of Yeah. Yeah, because here we are two hours from Melbourne. We are in the Great Ocean Road. Mm. So it's more in the north. You are more, maybe more exposed to the ocean, to the wind. Yeah. And more changes in terms of weather. Yes, yes, yes. But in Melbourne, we're still... 40 degrees cold. lower. Average. Four degrees lower. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. That makes a big difference. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I understand. Okay. Um, I think I don't have any more questions. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I saw the, the rocket stove. Yes. Uh, do you want to give us a bit of information? Because I, I saw, I followed you when you were <laughs> reading it. <laughs> okay. And yes, I can give you a bit of information. Yeah. The rocket stove is only, for me, it's just for fun. Mm -hmm. you get, you, 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 uh, you, you, because I have plenty of uh, you know, wood around, so we can do barbecue and uh, all year round without uh, violate you know fireman. Yes, yes. <laughs> so because the fire is hidden inside. Uh, yeah, yeah. You you don't the the tube, the tube go down like this. Put your fuel here, and uh, it burns vertically this way. Mm -hmm. Then up again, then down, up, down, up, and then it goes out. So what goes out is quite, it's not a super hot smoke. No, no, no. You, you keep all the heat yeah, inside. Yeah, the heat exchange you already done most of the job to keep the heat in the brickworks. Yeah. So when the heat goes out, especially when you have many loops, another one, another one, another one, another one, the more the better. Yes. So you, you retain the heat in, in the, the brickworks. By the time the heat escapes from the chimney, and it's about, you know, 30 to 50 degrees. Oh, yeah, yeah. So okay. it's not Decreased. that yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 they're hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think you started to build one into your greenhouse? Yeah, but that one only worked for a while. It had an accident. So one of the fire bricks in the, in the tunnel dropped. So it blocked the entire tunnel. Oh, my God. And uh, there was no uh, way to, uh, to no fix way it, to right? Ah. So I, I would uh, do uh, something else. You know, this time I actually... Uh, rammed the entire uh, fire bricks into a single piece. Ah, okay. So that one won't have happen. any problem. <laughs> okay, okay. So you, you're going to build a new one in your, in your new greenhouse? Or? No, no, no. I'm going to use that one for another facility. <coughs> the greenhouse, I realized you don't need to have that large facility. Okay. The only small amount of hot water each day will be able to maintain the temperature. So you're going to use it only uh, a gas, oh, gas, gas. gas heater? Using a small gas heater will do the job, oh, and, okay. and easier and 
more even more environmentally friendly. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's more sustainable to use the gas yeah, than yeah, the yeah, yeah. You, because you don't have to burn that that many that much that long. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. And uh, in terms of uh, uh, fish species, so you talk about uh, the silver perch. Just silver before. perch. Yeah. And goldfish. Goldfish. Catfish. Catfish. And uh, I tried this one. I'm going to find out if it is possible to grow redfin. Redfin, yeah. Mm. yeah. Redfin is a very nice eating fish. Yes. Yeah. The, the Australian native fish always have that kind of you know unpleasant flavor to me. I think it's only personal or cultural. But it's it's a freshwater fish. It's not so you know palatable for my preference. Okay, okay. Yeah. Maybe for some somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but however, the the red fin is fantastic. You know that in Australia, people don't like redfin. <laughs> they, they catch them and they throw them away. It's, <laughs> it's a best here, right? Oh, yes, you know? right. It's yeah. the best fish. And I don't know, I mean, uh, obviously, if you keep it in your greenhouse, I don't think you're going to have a problem. But mm. by the law, I don't think we are allowed to. No, have, no. So, yeah. The law is an <laughs> ass. <laughs> Bloody hell. They don't see those things as uh, resources. They only see this thing only one, on one side. I think if it is a part of the environment, it is part of the environment. You try to deal with it in a positive way. It's like you introduce sheep, you introduce cattle. What are you gonna do? Kill them? Kill all the sheep? <laughs> kill all the cattle? No. You deal with them in a sustainable, sensible way. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The fish is the same thing. Yeah, yeah I, I just think that. Uh the law is just trying to protect because we had the problem with the rabbits and the fox. Ah, yes, yes. So the only thing is if you if you do those kind of thing, if you keep some fish that are yeah. not native, don't yeah. release them into the environment. Uh, that's, oh, that's, that's, the it, that's it. Yeah. You don't you don't deliberately no. release any foreign matters into the environment. Yeah. That's the first principle. Yeah. But once they have already here and you are unable to eliminate them, the better way is to deal with the, deal with them yeah. sensibly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Then, yeah, exactly. That's yeah. that's all we can do. Uh, but red fins, Just to talk about that, uh, I uh, I worked on a farm where we were producing red fins. Oh. And what we found is like for any other predator fish, but the the red fin are very tricky. They are like they have a mindset. They are they are, <laughs> they are designed for the attack. Oh. And, <laughs> yes, yes. And you got different uh, different uh, behavior of uh, of red fins. You got the red fins that are living by themselves, oh. and you got the red fins that are living very in, very a, in, oh, a, group. in group, exactly oh. in a school. Oh. And uh, if you keep them at very low density, they're going to be super aggressive. Oh. So they're going to um, keep their uh, area. They're going to be territorial, oh, territorial. and they're going to attack the eyes of the other fish. Oh. But if you keep them at a very high density, not very high density, mm. but like 20, 30 kilo oh. per. Per, per thousand liters, oh. then you know you got this cool this cool effect that is forming, and then the fish don't recognize each other, oh. and therefore you can go and they, they are not going to attack each other. Oh. Then that's fine. Oh. Uh, in Europe, it's a, it's a fish that is really really well uh, oh. uh, rated in terms of uh, um, quality, you know, for for oh. the for the gastronomy for the oh. for the kitchen. Oh. Uh, but in Australia, people don't eat them, so that's very fun to see the differences of culture yes, yes. and uh, differences of uh, perception. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But yeah, I, I think it's a, it's some a people love fish. some people love the red thing, some don't. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. It's like the carp, actually. Yes, in, yes. Uh, where I come from, we eat the carp. Yes. But in some the carp is okay. Yeah, you know what I mean. We know we 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 share the same taste. Yeah. The carp, if you know how to cook it, it's fantastic. Yeah. So when we so when we do it, we just um, cut it very thin and we deep fry it. Yeah. Sometimes we dip it in the beer, oh. into the butter, into oh. the crumb, oh, yeah. and then Cheap. into the into the oil, you know, and, uh, <laughs> like your chips. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's quite right. tasty, actually. It's a very fine, white uh, flesh. Yes, mm. that's right. Without it too much. If you read them properly, it's a very good fish. Yes. Mm. So with those kind of fish, such as uh, carp, mm. uh, bassa, mm. tilapia, you can have sometimes uh, what we call the muddy test, yeah. which is actually uh, due to a, a geos mind that, uh, that's a very specific molecule that can be present on the flesh of the fish. Yeah. And yeah, what, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the blood. In the blood, yeah, in the flesh, yeah, yeah. on the on the red la on the blood yeah, 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 red meat the part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, once it's into your system, this kind of geosmine, you can't really remove it. It's very hard to remove. 
Uh, but uh, some, sometimes you can have some, uh, uh, some farms that have it, some other farms that don't have it. So you try your luck, see if uh, the carps in your setup are going to have the, the muddy test, but probably not. Probably you're gonna have no, no, no. If you, if you, if you, uh, you know, uh, process them properly, uh, uh, carp is okay. You drain yeah. the blood completely, is okay. Yeah, yeah. it's mm. a good fish. Mm -hmm. yeah. And have you tried uh, the, the trout? Trouts uh, need a bit of low temperature water. Yes, exactly. Mm. But in my greenhouse, yeah, it yeah, will be too warm, high sometimes. Too yeah, mm. exactly. Because winter will be too short for you. Yeah. There is no long way you can mm. keep them. True. I understand. Okay, uh, thank you so much, okay. Mr. Pen. <laughs> That's uh, right. uh, do you mind if, you ha if we have another look of the, of the greenhouse? No. Take some, okay. some movies to put into this uh, interview. Okay. So it was a pleasure to have this, uh, this interview with you. And, That's okay. Uh, we're going to follow your channel now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. All the best. I finished the... Divide, div, divided the, the big... Bigger uh, pond into uh, different sections. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, different sections. So, That's in this really way, in, the, in this way, uh, uh, the fish and uh, pump will be separated. Okay. So, uh, won't, won't have any accident. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you have some fish into the yeah. into the pump? <laughs> yeah, it's sucking in the pump. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, 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 damage. And another thing is that uh, uh, no more uh, fish uh, uh, solids get into the fish uh, grow bag. So why do you have filters or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for the, this part, we'll be installing a, a device to stop the uh, uh, the fish solid into the water. Okay. Once it is, is it come, is a fish tank, fish tank, fish tank, fish tank, fish tank, fish tank. Once they come out of this pipe, they will be filtered. So what kind of filtration are you going to use? Uh, the first thing is that uh, you, I, 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 I uh, use the, uh, you know, uh, foam, yep. plastic foam. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Another way is here, I'll show you. The easy way is here. This is the last line of defense. Ah, oh, yeah, you, okay. <laughs> you use a, your wife must not be happy. <laughs> so, uh, if you have, uh, you know, in, just in case something wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah, at least you, you yeah. catch all the solids here. Yes, yeah, it's easy to do, you see. Yeah. You take it out and wash yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And, uh, and this pipe here, see, this is a 100 millimeters pipe. No, this is 90. 90? 90. And, uh, 90 will do. What is the connection then? It just go down? Just go down, just go down. Just go down. Yeah. Wow. This is my secret. I'll let you know later. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the system still uh, in a fishless, fishless uh, cycle to recover. You will not get rid of this. See? This is uh, the result of so many years of running without filtration. Yeah. Okay. Now, it does not. Uh, really matter in terms of uh, growing crops but it doesn't matter in terms of filtration i understand yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you know you know that so uh, you give me a estimate that in your calculation you see i replace that yeah that, yeah. that piece of rock. yeah the surface area is very different right? yeah. yeah very much yeah with that much so uh I, I calculated at least three times more. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah. Um, in, uh, in Melbourne Aquaponics, we use some scoria. Yeah, so the scoria. scoria is even more. Oh, because, yes, yes, it's yes, porous, yes. You know? yeah, porous. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. So yeah. that's why uh, yeah. we, we grow everything with scoria. Scoria, yes. So the scoria has mm. the highest surface area. Yes, and yes. It's very, still very cheap. Yeah. Because if you want to buy the, the argil, the clay balls, yeah. The clay balls is too expensive, right? Mm, you no, couldn't no. you couldn't fill your bed with it. No. Uh, uh, there is a, another one better than Scoria, yeah. but it's far more expensive. Yeah, what is it? It's called uh, uh, Permice. Yeah. Yeah, Permice is too too expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's too so expensive. It's as well, almost yeah. uh, you know two dollars two dollars a, a liter. liter. Yeah, yeah. yeah, too much. Now uh, the, this bed, I'm going to uh, you know uh, make sure it's. Uh, Good to grow uh, Chinese yam. Chinese yam? Yeah, yam. Yam? Yeah. I, I used to grow them in here. Oh, okay. Uh, they grow fairly big, but because of the coarse material, so it, the shape has been, uh, you know. Yeah, I see. I see. <laughs>
If you are watching this video on YouTube, you will see that on the description of the video just below, you will have access to some free gifts. First, you have access to a six-step process to be able to build your own aquaponic system in good conditions. I developed this six-step process because I found that too many beginners are basically starting aquaponics with a wrong design. So if you want to build your own aquaponics setup, please just follow this uh, six-step uh, process. It's completely free, right? I really designed it to help you to build your setup in good conditions and therefore to succeed in aquaponics. The second gift is for people who already have aquaponics. A very uh, common problem we have in aquaponics is that we got the leaves of the vegetables that are turning yellow. And the reason why is because basically in, in, uh, in aquaponics we sometimes need to add some minerals, otherwise the vegetables have some deficiencies. So if you have this problem, I made a special video about it as well and you can have access to it in the description of the video. It's uh, the free bonus video. Uh, if you are very interested into aquaponics, you can also have access to a webinar, uh, a free webinar specific to aquaponics. I deliver a lot of information. Finally, you are probably aware that I wrote a digital aquaponics manual called The Art of Aquaponics. And you can have access to a free excerpt of this aquaponics manual where I add a lot of value and I give you a lot of my knowledge about aquaponics. So don't forget that you can have access to those four gifts on the description of the video and I'm sure they're going to help you to develop your aquaponic setup and to produce your own sustainable and healthy food in good conditions. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon. And I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop.